Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Fire Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're going to be working in West Chase, Florida. We're going to, do, we're going to be doing a dirty pool cage here. Sorry about the sun. Uh, this cage is um, very, very bad. Uh, I actually gave this customer the quote over the phone. You know, I'm, I'm thinking it's a basic cage cleaning uh, that I got here. It, it's terrible. So, of course, you know, I explained to him, like, you know, for that price I gave him, I can do, you know, this cage for it. You know, if he didn't want to go along with the service, then it is what it is. But he understood, and uh, you know, he he accepted the the upcharge. So uh, it's a pretty bad cage. I don't know when the last time it was done. I know I, I've been here once before, and I've cleaned his driveway about a year ago. So um, you know, he knows what kind of service I bring. So I'm gonna go show you guys what it looks like. If you haven't yet, subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you got any questions, hit the bell so you know when I put up a new video. So let's go check the job out. So. Uh, like I said, I did his driveway and sidewalks a year ago. They're still good. Although he has a tree right there. It's probably gonna be need to be done. Another six months or so. But this cage here is uh, pretty bad. I may, I, I may have to use the soft wash system with a stronger mix to get this thing cleaned up because it is bad. <laughs> Look at all that. It's gonna turn out good though, but you see on the screens we got all that, all this stuff here, lichen. This stuff right here is super, super tedious to get off the cages, the screens. I can see there's some holes on his screens already in a few spots, so you can note that on camera. And I'm walking through spider webs already. <laughs> Look at this thing. thing is bad he doesn't want the deck to be done the pool pump doesn't work so the pool will get dirty he's okay with that but you guys can see all that stuff <laughs> all over the cage I will start with a downstream mix which is like roughly around uh, 1.5 2 percent and um We'll see what it does, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to come back and uh, spray a little stronger mix on here to get some of that stuff off because this thing has been in here way too long. You guys can see the holes on the screens here. Got some on that screen there as well. Uh, before I start, I will water down these plants down just in case I use that stronger mix. The downstream, you know, you're good. Uh, it's not gonna kill anything, but if you're gonna use anything higher than the two, definitely wet everything down real real good so I'm gonna wet down this stuff now before I start y'all stay tuned So now I got the plants watered down all the way around the cage. I'm gonna start applying the solution uh, from right here at this door, wrap around all the way outside. And then I'm gonna go inside and do the same thing. Uh, dwell time on this, probably gonna give it 15 minutes to dwell before I rinse, cause it's so bad. I mean, I'm not sure when the last time this cage was done. So we're gonna take our time. Right now it's about 8.35, so we're gonna start now.
like we got the outside uh, sprayed. We're gonna let it sit and dwell. We're gonna spray this inside here. It's gonna take a little bit to uh, apply <laughs> the solution on this case because it's so bad. So um, let me show you something right quick. So um, on the side beams right here, you guys can see how they're starting to come out clean compared to up there. You can see how it is kind of white. Same thing here. The lichen takes a little bit more to come out, so you're just gonna let it sit and soften up. The sides right here are starting to come out clean as well. My SH is not the freshest. It's been sitting for a while, so um, I'm not sure if, if the concentration is on uh, the best. So anyway, we're gonna use it with the downstream. If not, if it doesn't work, I just use the software system. And uh, that way we can uh, we don't have to dilute it with water as much. Uh, y'all guys, y'all stay tuned. <laughs> done doing uh, the application on the cage uh, we're gonna have to let this one sit like I said a little longer uh, right now it is 857 so we're gonna give it a few more minutes I'm pretty sure the outside is starting to look better so let's just look at it uh, of course the dark stuff is not gonna come out right away more so the light algae but the lichen should start softening up So it was easier to rinse. Uh, this is a bad cage, y'all. <laughs> now this side is not as bad. Uh, it's starting to turn white. So we're gonna give it a little few minutes. Uh, I am gonna grab my soft wash hose out. I'm probably gonna put like a maybe three percent, four percent mix. So whatever else doesn't come off, I can just reapply rather than have to downstream again because that downstream is a it's a weaker mix and it doesn't get everything off. All right, see you guys in a bit. Start on the inside now. I just cleaned this beam here. You can see this one how it looks versus per se. I sprayed it with a 4% mix, so it's starting to come out clean. You can still see, see some of the lichen is going to be left behind, but it's fine. Uh, once I clean it, 
whatever mix I put on afterwards is gonna take the remaining off. Uh, so there's no need, no need to like, you know, stay there and keep trying to rinse it off because it's not gonna come off. It has to die first. So I'm gonna keep on working on the top sections first and I'm gonna move on to the bottom sections. Uh, on the screens over here, there's still some liking. I gotta treat that, all that stuff right there. You guys can see it all on the screen. I'm gonna treat that right now. Let that sit and dwell while I'm doing the top side. So when I'm done, it'll be nice and soft and ready to rinse. progress here uh, got half of it done everything on this side is all the rents including all that lichen that was on this piece of screen right here you can see now you can look right through it um, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the other side of the cage finish up this baby taking a little while but it's all good <laughs> did the deck for him um, I didn't want to leave all that lichen that fell off although he didn't want the deck cleaning it's my good deed for the day I guess so let's check it out all right this is the side over here everything is white 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 this is the top beams Got all that black stuff off of it the green stuff Beams is done. Let's do a walk around. See, I missed a few right there on this one. I'm gonna come back. I got my gun here. I'm gonna just rinse that off before I leave. Same thing over here. I missed a few. Got the screens done over here. That was really bad. You guys can see here what we're looking, what we're looking like. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, I rinsed the deck for him. Got the deck cleaned up. The deck was pretty bad. I didn't go under here and move all that stuff. But the outside deck is definitely clean. 
Then I rinse these two little spots right there that I missed. Now everything will be ready to rock. Ready to be enjoyed. This is the outside of the cage. All that black that was right here. It's already gone and clean and rinsed. Same thing for the back section here. The back section is clean as well. All right, you guys, I hope y'all learned something new. Hope y'all enjoyed the satisfying video of the transformation of this cage. Uh, if you got any questions, just ask them. And I answer all my questions. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna see y'all on the next one, guys. Peace.